what am I ever going to do with you? You're such a moron. How did you hurt yourself like this? I told you you should let me take care of all the construction work around here. You should take care of doing the dishes and making dinner. But no, you had to go play with the wood. Now you've got splinters everywhere. Mm -mm, no, I'm not taking you to the hospital. We're not even going to go to emergent care. I'm going to take care of you here. You know I have medical experience. It's time to put it to good use. Let's go to my healing room, and you can lie on my massage table. But first, I'm going to need you to strip so I can get to all of those little splinters in your back and thighs and bottom. I can't believe how careless you are. You're lucky that I love you. Nobody else would do this for you. They'd drop you off at the hospital and let you face embarrassment for being completely incompetent, getting splinters all over. You'd be a laughing stock. The nurses would be laughing for days in their break rooms, tittering about what a moron you are, how stupid you are. Plus, they'd get to see you naked and, well, I can't have that now, can I? I'm the only one who gets to see you naked. These are the rules, so strip and get on the table. I'm going to get out my tools. I've got my medical tweezers. And for those big, stubborn splinters, I have the scalpel. And for those that have gone even deeper, I have the scalpel and the hemostat. So I can open you up and take out all those splinters. It's almost as if you have shrapnel from a bomb. You're completely covered. And this is going to take a while. What? You want some lidocaine lotion? No way. You're dumb enough to let this happen. So you get to suffer the consequences. And I get to take care of my partner. Like a good girlfriend should. Make sure that everything comes out completely. So just try and relax. You'll just feel me pulling the easy ones to get out first. There'll be that little tension before that pinprick of relief as the splinter slides out. And then after that, I'll go for the deeper ones. And I'll use the scalpel to open you up just a little superficial opening. You'll just feel a pinch, barely a pinch. The scalpel is so sharp, you might not even feel it at all. Not until I get my tweezers in there and start wiggling that deeply lodged splinter out. And after I take care of those, then it's time for the most stubborn ones. Where I apply the scalpel 
and the hemostat, where I pull so hard, you might even get tears in your eyes. And once that's all taken care of, and I have everything out, I'll open up this bottle of rubbing alcohol and pour it all over you. I know, I know it's going to burn, but just a little bit. <laughs> Who am I kidding? It's going to burn a lot, and I'm going to enjoy watching you squirm. But I have to do it. I need to disinfect all of your wounds. It's for your own good. We wouldn't want any infection to set in, would we? No, we wouldn't. So disinfecting it is. First alcohol, and then peroxide. And if it hurts, just remember, you brought this on yourself with your careless stupidity. You're making me do this. This is all on you. And then after the peroxide, I'll pat you dry, and then we'll massage in some nice antibiotic ointment. In the deeper wounds, I'll make sure to press it in to make sure that you heal healthy. I'll even give you a nice little sensual massage to help bring the blood to the skin and stimulate healing. And then, when we're all done, you can clean up the bloody mess because you're the one who made it. I hope, in the future, you listen to what I say instead of being stupid and getting yourself hurt like this. And you should thank me for not embarrassing you completely by taking you to the hospital. You're absolutely lucky that I know how to do this. Let's get started. Time to fix you up. 